prophecy is an interesting thing, actually. You know, God has told us a lot of things before they happen. He's warned us that they're going to happen. So there's a lot of things, you know, that we're aware of that are on the horizon, like the Psalm 83 war, the Psalm 2 war, the Ezekiel 38, Jeremiah 30, which deals with the tribulation, the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, the book of Revelation beginning to end is kind of a glimpse of what's going to transpire during the worst time in human history, the tribulation or the time of Jacob's trouble. Um, so God tells us things are going to happen. And he even outlines some of those things. But there are things that he has kept reserved for him and him alone to really know and to know as it's even happening. That's an example of what, what I'm referring to here. The war that is going on in Israel, uh, where Israel is trying to stop all these bombs from coming into their country and threatening their citizens. You know, we hear um, even, you know, Bible scholars and, and people that are – that do this kind of thing, you know, that are watchmen and do this for a living. I mean, they get paid to do it. People like Gary Stearman, Hal Lindsey, um, Jack Van Empey, and, and there are more. There are more. And, your prof you know, what I call your professional pastors, the Greg Laurie types, um, you know, those kind of guys that have big mega churches and, you know, this is their job. You know, you'll hear him say, could we be on the verge of Psalm 83 or Ezekiel 38? The answer to the question is, who knows? Only God does. See, and what I have found in my life, and, and I just thought I would kind of mention this today uh, on my audio blog. What I have found in my personal life is that... I don't know that God is doing something usually until it's it's almost over with or it, it, it's been accomplished and it's behind me and I can look over my shoulder and look back at all that's transpired and I can see the hand of God throughout the whole process and then that causes me to glorify his name and to praise him because while I was going through it, I may not have seen God's hand in, in it. And at times, maybe I've even wondered, you know, what's going on? It's very rarely that I ask God a question and he gives me an immediate direct answer. I usually have to wait. And see, because I see God's involvement in my life where he's involved in the very fabric of my life. And he walks with me as I live out my life. And so as events unfold and things happen in my life, I become more aware of what God is doing as I move through that process and that event, that challenge or that blessing that might be in my life. So I just wanted to alert us that, you know, we don't know where this is headed. And I've said it before, this war in Israel could stop tomorrow. Um, that's the nature of the Middle East. We won't know if it's Psalm 83, Psalm 2, or Ezekiel 38. Probably until after it's like we're halfway through it. And then it will dawn on us, wow, here are some landmarks we can see, some visual points that God is giving us where we know, okay, that's what this is. But we may not know until after the whole process begins. So that's why God asks us to pray, to be alert, to watch, to be ready, and to pray always, and to look to him, 
not to circumstance, because circumstances can mislead us, but God and his word never will. So I want to encourage all of us today, look to the Lord, look to his word, lean on him, and um, thank him and, and, and bless him that he is working all of this out, and we're able to be witnesses to it. And remember to pray for the peace of Jerusalem and pray that God will work out his perfect will in the Middle East. Pray for the Arabs. Pray for all the people affected, our Christian brothers and sisters in the Middle East. A lot of people are being uh, injured because of everything that's going on. And uh, we need to lift the people up and pray the Holy Spirit to fall on all peoples in the Middle East and around the world so that they will come to believe that Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, is the Son of God, the Lamb of God that died to take away, shed his blood and died to take away the sins of the world and to take away our sins personally. This bro stuff, remember, join the conversation at our Facebook group. That's facebook.com slash groups slash bro Steph and visit our blog bro Steph.org. This bro Steph with a thought on prophecy and maybe how we could see it a little bit differently. Uh, God bless you. Keep looking up. Jesus is coming back soon. Believe it. He is. Go tell somebody. And if you don't know Jesus, read Romans chapter 10. Just read the whole chapter. Call upon the name of the Lord, and you will be saved. Talk to you again real soon. God bless you.